What is up guys? It's Tony. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the eBay seller updates. We have all should have gotten that message by now that there's going to be updates in 2021. So let's dive into those updates, what they're about and how can they, and how do they help us sellers, right? That's what, the, that's what updates are all about, helping sellers out. Okay, the one major update that eBay is going to talk about in every single article that I've read is managed payments. They've literally just blasted it all over the place, managed payments, which means that by the end of 2021, every seller will be on managed payments, which means the end of PayPal. Now, me personally, business-wise, I hate PayPal. Only reason why I hate them is because they hold my money after a certain amount of threshold and they're not lifting that threshold. So, it's just bad business. I prefer managed payments at this point to try them out to see if it's a lot better. Plus, I see it's kind of like it's kind of like Mercari and Poshmark where they tell you the fees up front and you know exactly how much you're going to earn from that item. Okay, so managed payments is one thing. Listing and promotions. They're diving into new categories. What does that mean? It means new categories for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, clothing, antiques, uh, collectibles, cards. So if you collect Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards, like I do sell sometimes, uh, they just change the category. That way, uh, when people go to search for stuff, they'll be able to kind of like dive into different categories and search. Someone who wants to buy something will be able to search specifically for certain items. Now that's a con and a plus the the plus is it means that if i am searching for a specific shirt or type of shirt they'll categorize it and or a specific type of let's say a card or or baseball card and name or whatnot they'll specifically categorize it to the point where i look exactly for what i'm looking for so your listing if it's super detailed in the right category it won't drown out in a whole bunch of general in a general category but there'll be subcategories now for each little individual thing where you'll now with well, the customer will be able to search for it and for that one specific keyword that they search for boom your item might appear right there right on the spot because you use you use specific keywords um, one thing they're going to do is they're going to the listing experience they're going to uh, use a new tool a new format called unify listing now, I haven't tried it out yet because I guess I haven't been invited. I, I don't know. It's not updated on my on my eBay. But once it is, I, I believe it, it'll start in April if I'm not mistaken. If you read the article, um, end of May, beginning of April, I may be off. But once that activates, that's going to be the new listing platform. And um, up to April 15 or May 15, I believe, you'll be able to switch to the old listing platform. But once that date passes everybody's a unified listing experience and it'll be a new way according to them is more user friendly and you'll be able to uh, streamline more categories and more required items and another thing when it comes to listing required items that's a big thing for them uh, the more you fill out those required items or their item specifics the more the more streamlined the search is going to be for your listing so they're really heavily focused on filling out those item specifics as much as you can i mean i personally do i know it's kind of like time consuming and it's and it's kind of like uh doing a lot of paperwork uh, comparable to doing a lot of paperwork right you got to fill in click this is it made out of that i mean i do clothing right now so it's as it made out of cotton polyester lining and whatnot all that crazy stuff but it actually does help out why because if somebody's searching for a visco sweater or a full cotton sweater or a cotton blend or wool blend sweater or any of that type of sort, then boom, I, you're, you're, if you're super detailed, you're one of the first listings that should pop up. Now, uh, when it comes to managed payments, one thing they're going to do with your listings, if you are a, if you have a store subscription, this is good for you if you're on managed payments, because they were going to increase your free listings. Um, I have a basic store, so if I'm on managed payments, I go from 350 the current promotion, to a thousand listings per month, free, a thousand free listings per month if I'm on managed payments. So that's pretty neat, and that helps out. You know, I I cross it sometimes, I delist and I relist stuff, so that helps out a lot because I do it a lot to refresh the item in the in the algorithm, 
And that's another thing when it comes to this thing. They're really focused on the use of the Terapeak Research uh, tool. And I've used it a few times. And it, and it did help out setting a few wool suits, suit blazers and stuff. Because people, I guess, I knew what they were looking for. And I saw keywords that they used. So that way, I would put those keywords in my listing title. Which is important because if you put the, the most um, used keywords in your listing title people should be able to find your listing a lot quicker, especially if they're looking for something similar to what you're selling. And that's very good. Now, when it comes to clothing, they are going to increase the fees. So I sell clothing. They're going to increase the, the seller fees or the final value fees for clothing, uh, which kind of sucks. But I guess since clothing is like major on eBay, they keep selling a lot of, that's something they're going to do. Also, if you do have a business and you have a store subscription, they're going to do a automated promotion, automated promoter listings. I'm sorry, automated promoting campaigns. They uh, automatic campaigns. They work in the sense of ads. I guess you call them ads for eBay ads, but it's a campaign that you automate from start to finish. You know, start date, end date, and you choose the targets. I, I believe you can choose demographics. I'm not too sure. I've never done a, a promoter campaign on eBay. Never. Had, Never wanted it to, um, something I did not explore because one to me, if you use the right keywords, you should be able to sell your item, right? Um, the new coupon tool or a coupon tool that they're going to be using, uh, sellers can now autumn create coupons. And once you do that, I believe in on top of your listing is going to appear that or in your store or listing is going to appear a little small coupon with a code that they can enter and get a discount on the item that you're selling, which I think is pretty neat. Um, and I guess it entices the buyer to be like, hey, look, coupon discount. I wouldn't want to buy this. Boom. And there you go. You got yourself a sale. That's pretty neat. Um, I'm just looking at my computer right now to see what else we got. Another update that they're doing is for um, unpaid items. If you're a top seller, and you're on managed payments. Well, I'm sorry. If you're on managed payments, what they are going to do is automate the, um, the messages that they send to unpaid items. For example, let's say somebody bought something, but they haven't paid for it yet. eBay will automatically, within minutes, send out a message to get that item paid. And then throughout the day, I think they might send one or two. And then they'll delegate that messages on per day. So that way, at least they send out a reminder to the buyer. You don't have to do it the eBay will automatically do it and they'll send that. And another thing they're going to do with um, running your business is the ability to, let's say somebody wants to return an item and it's a legit return. You can now offer what's called a partial refund. They're going to offer it before you accept, before you actually click accept return. And that's a button that's going to be available to you for you to click and offer a partial refund if it's a legit return. If it's not a legit return, then of course they'll go through the same process. You don't have to get a, a refund. I would just suggest to take the re, just the return and it is what it is. I sell clothing, uh, so far I have no returns either than one that I messed up in that of course I had to accept, no partial refunds. That's one thing I, I don't like doing is uh, partial refunds a lot because then it just teaches the the buyer like, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna point out these mistakes and these mistakes and then hopefully I get a partial refund and I save extra money on the thing that I just bought, which is a bad habit to build and something I don't recommend. So if you can avoid uh, partial refunds, avoid it at all costs. I mean, it just kind of screws up your business anyway. Unless it's a really heavy item and you don't want to ship back because of shipping, just forget about it. Just do a, a partial refund at that point. All right. So there are item specifics. I know you um, on top of some listings says item specific required. Um, once they do the update on these categories, there's going to be new item specific requirements that you'll need to fill out. Now that depends on the category that you're selling. So I suggest that you open up that thing and find the category or your niche category and find out what item specifics you might have to actually fill out and just be prepared for it because if you don't, then they're going to put you on the bottom of the listing this time. And um, they, uh, at certain points, they don't relist your item if it passes 30 days or if you're trying to relist it. 
All right, guys. So that was it, pretty much for the um, for the updates. It's a short, uh, quick look at what the updates consist of, and hopefully, it is helpful, and that uh, you guys will be able to take advantage of these e updates and uh, make a lot of money on eBay. All right, everybody. So that'd be it. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Check out those messages that eBay sent out. They're going to be really helpful. Those articles explain everything in a lot of detail, which you'll need to look into. That way, you'll be ahead of the you'll be ahead of the curve. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more reselling content, as well as um, unpacking Yu-Gi-Ohs and Pokemon cards. So hopefully, I get some rare stuff and I'll be able to make money with that too. And and best believe. It's a trend, but it's a trend that I think might not die out at all, period. All right, everybody, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.